Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to continue with a simple review of this Win 5. Right now the device is really heavy because it has a back clip attached. So a lot of you have been asking if there are any other power solutions besides the original power supply and the back clip. Because right now it appears that if you utilize this specific port, even a common 100 watt or perhaps a 65 watt fast charger will be unable to power on the system. So, what exactly is happening? Let's take a closer look. Currently, I'm holding a 6A cable and a 68 watt char. Since I currently do not possess a 100 watt charging head, we will proceed to test with this 68 watt charging head to evaluate its performance. Alright, so now we will take off the back clip from the device because the back clip is indeed quite heavy. Furthermore, if you were to use a different type of cable, its connector might present a problem. Therefore, we're going to plug it in just like this. The light can turn on, so let's press it. The indicator light is on, but it won't power on. Oh, it did power on, but then it immediately went off. What this indicates is that if you use a 68 watt charger with this machine, is completely useless. The 68 watt charger simply didn't work. So let's explore an alternative. Given that the previous item was a non-original product, we'll now examine this original 65 watt cable and power adapter. We're curious to see how effectively it functions. This one should also be slightly more efficient. Cable and charger. Let's see how well it performs. Now let's plug it in and observe. The light illuminates and we press the button directly. All right, a white light, it's initiating. Oh, it actually powered on this time. This suggests that the previous charger head is still inadequate indicating a potential power output problem. For instance, this way, the RGB light strip on this particular cable illuminates, but only flashes the logo for a moment before shutting down. This strongly suggests the device has extremely demanding power needs. So how can we power it on without investing in these specific power solutions? Of course, there is such an option. And that leads us to today's featured product, the Lenovo Think uh, Plus Power Bank. It's a power bank manufactured by Lenovo Think Plus, a specialized subsidiary focusing on mobile power solutions. This particular power bank is rated at 140 watts, and many other brands offer 100, and it's got a 140 watt output just like this. So, what's so special about this particular power bank? Let's take a closer look here. If we zoom in, you'll notice it indicates a 140 watt max output which is specifically intended for laptops. It's 120 watt is, wait, the 140 watt is, uh, 20, this provides 20 volts at 7 amperes. Let's take a look at this. It's actually printed right here as well. Can you make it out? 20 volts, 7. A. It's a bit blurry, but this unit boasts an incredibly robust charging output. For instance, we'll take this very cable, which is a 6A cable, plug it in, and then link it to this. Alright, it's at a full 100% immediately. Now let's go ahead and commence with the startup process. It powers on instantly, and you can observe the wattage fluctuating here, which is quite impressive. This presents a truly excellent solution. Now I'm providing you with a fantastic option, specifically if you... If you consider the back clip to be too heavy, then we have an alternative, using this power bank for gaming. Let's explore how effectively this power bank enhances the gaming experience. We'll examine its performance. All right, we've launched Black Myth. Now we can observe. That right now, it's currently showing 30 watts right here. You can clearly see it's 30 watts, 
and it's also running at 120 frames per second, like so. And now looking at this, it can last for over two and a half hours, specifically two hours and 30 something minutes. Okay, let's jump into a game and check if it can maintain a stable gaming experience while using the power bank. Alright, we're in the game now. As you can clearly see, even with just 30 watts, it's maintaining a consistent 70 frames per second. The gameplay is exceptionally smooth, remarkably fluid indeed. Upon reviewing it again, it indicates that essentially, you no longer strictly need to use the original power adapter that came with the device. The 68W charging head. What are your thoughts? This power bank is quite an excellent match for the Win 5. So essentially, when we're on the go, in scenarios such as a mobile office environment or at a portable workstation, we can ditch this back clip. Instead, we can simply use a compact power bank to serve as a secondary power source, and it provides exceptional stability. What are your thoughts on this? Isn't it incredibly convenient and effective? Aside from this particular power bank, it's best to steer clear of others as they may not achieve the desired performance. It can provide 20 volts at 7 amps. Alright, that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.